Hey, it's Mentor Jeweler Joel McFadden and I have a little bench top tip that's sort of a safety tip and a tool tip. So one of the tools that a lot of jewelers use, and if you can see I have three of them here, is a ring holder. Um, we have this one, this is the one that we use most of the time, and this is a wooden one because they're not a very expensive tool. And this one spins around so that you can do either a ring or a loop and it, I'll show you how it holds it or if you want you can spin it around like this to cut a piece of sheet in here and what this is designed for so you can cut a piece of sheet if you needed to like this but what this is designed for is sorry about the truck outside is when you're cutting a ring you hold the ring at the end and you it allows you to get a nice clean cut and it just it, it, it works really really well and in this particular case I'm making a bezel for a ring so I have my looped wire and I want to cut it flush on both sides so the easy thing to do is to hold it like this and just cut through both sides and it'll make a nice clean cut it's really easy to hold it's hold easy to hold straight even though I'm cutting crooked here I have the wrong size saw blade in here Oh, my apprentices has been here. So anyway, but what I wanted to talk about is, and by the way, this is how you do a saw blade if you have to. We're gonna grab a blade and you take your fingers and you want it, the teeth to be biting on the downstroke. So you'll feel some resistance on your finger and then you drop the bottom one in and then you drop the top one in while it's loose and you use your sternum and you lean slightly into it until there's just a bit of pressure and you get a little bit of a song there so now I can go back in and make this cut straight that wasn't straight But the safety aspect of this is, there's a safety aspect of this that's very important that a lot of, I see a lot of students never learned and don't get. And something that I learned very, very young from my grandfather was to always be aware of the tool and your hands. So I see a lot of people come in here and they'll saw like this. The problem with this is that you're quite likely to get your thumb. The other one is if you're holding it like this, or we'll just grab this ring. If you're holding it like so, for example, and I actually know a master goldsmith from Germany that has saw blades still in his thumb from 20 years ago. Because if for some reason the saw blade breaks and you're holding it like this, the top saw blade is quite likely to stab right into your finger. So the proper way to hold these things, and then you don't want to hold it this way either, because then the saw blade could cut your hand. So the proper way to hold it is like this. Come around here and show that right there. With your fingers spread and you're holding it with two fingers. That way if the saw blade, blade breaks, it's, there's nothing for it to go into, it just comes down. Or if you cut all the way through, it's stopped by the ring holder before it hits your hand. So. That's a little tool tip and a little safety tip all in one for today. And I hope you like it and please subscribe. And if you want to know whenever I put up a new video, just press that bell icon. Thanks for watching.